Hi, today we'll be showing you how to replace the light fixtures on a RA76 range hood. And as you can see, we have the, uh, the unit sitting here on the table with the control switch facing up. So uh, you guys can see for reference how the, uh, how the unit is facing. All right, let, let's begin. Okay, now that we have the filters removed, uh, we can actually go ahead and uh, begin by removing the light fixtures. Now, uh, for this uh, particular unit, um, the two light fixtures in the back, opposite of the front of the, uh, of the range hood where the control switch is, uh, the lights can be easily removed without gaining access to the control panel, which sits in here. Uh, so the two lights that are facing in the back are simply run by extension cables, and the uh, ports are actually located about halfway. So if you, need it, uh, if you only needed to uh, replace the back lights, you wouldn't need to gain access to the control panel. Um, for this, uh, we can actually go ahead and show you. Uh, so if you're going to be removing one of the lights uh, that's, in, that's in the rear, you can actually simply press on the back of the light fixture, which is going to disengage the spring locking mechanism that holds the light in place. And you can simply follow this uh, cable uh, to where the connection actually meets about right here. And the uh, further connection is going to be an extension that runs all the way to the control panel. So just follow the cable, you'll find the connection. And as you can see, it's sitting right here. We can go ahead and unplug it. Uh, also, there's actually a uh, cable management system uh, cl uh, clamp that sits in here. So there's going to be four of those in each corner. Uh, you can actually go ahead and reach in, and we're going to lift the clamp, which now releases the cable and you're able to go ahead and uh, remove the light fixture. Okay, this step we're actually gonna go ahead and replace the front uh, LED lights that are actually uh, facing uh, near, the, uh, near the control switch. Uh, so these actually you are gonna go ahead and have to gain access to the control panel as the connections are sitting within the, uh, the control panel itself. So we're gonna begin by removing four screws which are located here, here, here and here. So the main ones we're actually going to worry about are the two outer screws, the ones on the right and the ones on the left. So left and right, the two, the, uh, the two outer screws. The two in the middle, you don't have to worry about those, just the outer two. Let's go get this off so we can get any access to the control panel. Okay, now that we have all four screws removed, we can actually go ahead and gain access to the control panel. And we're just going to go ahead and lift it and bring the edge down to the front of the range hood. As you can see, now we have access to the control panel. Um, a lot of the, uh, the connections are actually sitting under this box right here, which we don't actually need to get to when we're just replacing the light fixture itself. These are actually the clips that you're going to be looking for. And all, you, uh, all you're going to have to do is just uh, find the, uh, run the wire that uh, goes to the connection that you're looking for and disconnect it and go ahead and replace uh, the light by removing the clip first and then like the other light bits in the back, Pressing on the back of the light itself will disengage the spring locking mechanism. To get that, just go ahead and reinstall the light, reconnect the connection from which uh, you had removed it from, and replace the control panel, and you're ready to go.